Do you need a 6K camera? Do you need an 8K camera? Do you need a 12K Blackmagic camera? This is gonna be reasons why I think 2.8K is really all you need. Steve Yedlin is a cinematographer behind films like The Last Jedi, The Knives Out movies, and Looper. He works a lot with uh, director Ryan Johnson. And he has, he is a very intelligent cinematographer and he's, he's done countless tests comparing different resolutions between cameras. And he's made really, really interesting points in why resolution no longer really matters. And he discusses why these resolution wars are really getting us nowhere. He's done countless tests, um, demos to showing how it's almost indistinguishable. And I really do agree with him. I feel like we are getting to the point where it's becoming a marketing thing that these companies want us to buy in because this has more resolution. Certainly there is an argument to be had that more resolution allows you to crop in. I mean, I feel like that's the only valid argument um, and why you should be shooting at anything higher than 4K. What I really like about the Sony cameras like the FX30 is that they oversample from 6K to 4K, which comes with all the benefits and advantages like less storage, better low light, and no line skipping for better detail. You can't really tell the difference between a really good 2.8K image and a 4K image unless you're talking about compression because um, especially here on YouTube, a lot of people upload in 4K um, because you, you have a different uh, bit rate and a different compression um, as opposed to uploading something in 1080. And Yedlin has made the case that it would render us better image quality if we actually focused more on the compression of the image that we're getting, the stream of the image, than, than the resolution. Because if you're just compressing 4K, then you're gonna get artifacts, you're gonna get, you're gonna get problems. Whereas if we had, especially in the streaming services, we had 2.8K be uncompressed or, or at a higher bit rate, we would be getting better image quality. So many films have been shot on these lower resolutions. You know, Zodiac has, was shot on you know, 2K and um, I know Lady Bird was shot on 2K. I'm mean, just thinking of movies just off the top of my mind, you know, and for the longest time before, um, you know, the the Alexa was forced to have internal 4K. I mean, it was it was upscaling to 2.8K to 4K, and it looked wonderful. And I feel like a lot of things are more important than resolution. Obviously, you know, it's been said before. You know, our eyes are more sensitive to color. Here are some things that I think are more exciting than resolution. We have global shutter. That would be great if they could have more global shutter at affordable prices. Dual gain sensors, which not to be confused with dual ISO. Dual gain sensors work in a different way. And of course, internal stabilization. That is something that would be very helpful. I mean, overall resolution is probably overrated. I mean, I feel like there was a huge leap between standard definition and HD, but after that leap was made, um, I really don't see a need to keep, you know, trying to get more you know, resolution. Yeah. You, you hear people talking about the cinematic image. Steve Yedlin is one of the cinematographers that really know, knows what they're talking about. Uh, he is behind some of the best film emulations that I've ever seen. In fact, the first Knives Out movie I thought was shot on film when I first saw it, and I was wrong. It was he, he, the attention to detail he put it he puts into that, and I believe that was only shot at 2.8K. And and people talk about, especially here on this channel, which I. Um, love that film emulation look. I love that older film look. We're talking about stuff that is not high resolution. We're talking about stuff that is degraded but has a, a beauty to it, a, of being sharp without being sharp. And when we, we get too much into the 6Ks and 12Ks, we're getting too much of that clinical, you know, over sharpened. I don't know, it's, it's becoming, it's, it's, and it, there's nothing wrong with that. It's becoming its own sort of look. But if you're trying to get for that film look, then the less resolution um, will actually be in your favor. Of course, I'm talking about something above HD, because if you start going below HD, then you are getting into stuff that doesn't look great. I wish more cameras would focus more on giving us uh, less compression than focusing on these resolutions that are just going to be unsustainable, especially since the higher the resolution, the more you have to compress. So if these camera manufacturers could focus more on um, more uncompressed codecs, more um, 
color fidelity and, 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 sh and more cameras that are shooting at 10-bit, I think it'd be great. I don't know, there's been, there's been so many great movies that are shot at 2, 2K or, or, or less than 4K, and they still hold up today. If you absolutely need 12K to tell your story, then I think it's either you're doing something really unique or you're just not prioritizing what's most important.